Aloha! Welcome to Lesson 6 of our Natural Cloth Diapering class here on Easy Peasy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wash and dry cotton cloth diapers. I will show you both a basic wash routine that you can use every 2-3 to three days, and I will also show you how to prep brand new cotton cloth diapers. If you're using polyester diaper covers, you can wash those right along with your cotton diapers. However, if you're using wool diaper covers, you'll need to wash those separately. Stay tuned for Lesson 7, where I will show you how to wash and lanolize wool diaper covers. A couple things up front before we dive into the wash routine. It's best to wash cloth diapers every two to three days. I personally like to wash them every other day. You don't want to leave your cloth diapers so long that they build up a strong ammonia smell or they could possibly even mold. What to do about the poop? The big question a lot of people have about cloth diapering. If you're cloth diapering a newborn baby who's exclusively breastfed, you don't need to worry about rinsing off that poop. You can just put the diaper straight into the diaper pail and then into the wash. If you have a baby who's drinking formula or eating solid foods, you will need to first remove the solid poop before washing the diapers. There are a few different options for this. You could use a diaper liner inside your diapers that makes it easier to plop the poop into the toilet and then either throw away a disposable liner or wash and reuse a cloth liner. You could get a diaper sprayer and a shield that you use inside the toilet to spray the poop down into the toilet. You could go the old fashioned method, put on some gloves and dunk and swish that diaper in the toilet. My personal favorite is to practice elimination communication. If you're new to EC, it's a gentle method of allowing a baby opportunities to pee and poop on the potty or toilet. When my babies get to be around six months old, I get a toilet seat reducer, and in the morning, around the time they usually have a bowel movement, sit them on the toilet and let them poop directly into the toilet. Then it can easily be flushed away. That leaves me mostly with just pee on diapers to wash. If you're interested in learning more about elimination communication, I will leave a blog post in the description box below on how to start EC. One optional prep step you may want to do before washing diapers is after you've removed any solid poop, spray the diapers with a little bit of BioClean Backout Spray and then let them sit with that on it in the diaper pail. That gives the enzymes time and also a temperature that they're okay at to start eating away at just the outer layer of waste on those diapers. Enzymes are not as effective if they're included in the detergent that's going to be used when you're washing on high temperatures. The basics of a cloth diaper wash routine are water, heat, agitation, and detergent. Out of all of those, detergent can be the most difficult to figure out. You will hear conflicting advice on different websites, Facebook groups, there's just so much out there. Some people say use this detergent in this amount, other people say no, use this detergent in this amount. I know I tried a lot of different options when I was cloth diapering my kids and washing their diapers. I tried things like Molly Suds because it was eco-friendly and non-toxic, but it just wasn't quite strong enough to wash their diapers. Also, eco nuts are all natural, but they just didn't have the washing power for cloth diapers. When choosing a laundry detergent for washing cloth diapers, you want one that's clean rinsing. What that means is you don't want there to be any ingredients that are going to remain staying on the surface of the fabric after it's been washed and rinsed. The main three ingredients to avoid in a laundry detergent that you're going to use on cloth diapers are fragrances, synthetic fabric softeners, and optical brighteners. And that's because all three of those ingredients are designed to remain as a layer on the fabric even after it's been washed and rinsed. The problem with detergent remaining behind on your washed diapers is that it gives a place for ammonia to attach to, so ammonia can build up in your diapers. It also allows a place that bacteria could grow in your diapers. I was really excited when I discovered Assembly Baby Washing Powder. This has been formulated specifically to wash cloth diapers. The founders of Assembly Baby first founded Diaper Kind, which is a cloth diaper delivery service in New York. They've been washing cloth diapers as a diaper service for 10 years before they researched, tested, and developed the formula for assembly washing powder. They have chemists on their team who specialize in laundry science, and they tested multiple formulations. 
They did try formulations with enzymes in them, but they just weren't as effective. They finally settled on this formulation because it works really well to keep your cloth diapers clean. One thing I really like from Assembly Baby is when you order, you can get this free magnet and it shows you all the steps we'll be going through for a cloth diaper wash routine. I remember when I was expecting my daughter, I was writing down the wash instructions in case my husband or mom might wash the cloth diapers. But with this magnet, you can just stick it on your washing machine. Another important factor is agitation. While your diapers are moving around the washing machine, they're gonna be hitting each other, bouncing into each other. That helps release the soil and get them cleaner. Assembly Baby also came up with another product that helps improve agitation when you're washing and drying your diapers. They're these agitator balls. So you can go ahead and throw them in with your diaper laundry. They'll knock into the diapers and they'll help release the soil off the diapers, making it easier for them to come clean. You can also use these in the dryer and it helps loosen the layers of the diapers and dry faster. I was a little skeptical because I had heard not to use wool dryer balls in the dryer with diapers that have elastics, such as fitted diapers or all in one. But when I spoke to Liz of Assembly Baby, she assured me that these are perfectly fine to use in the dryer as well. So you just toss these in with your diaper wash and they'll help up the agitation. Let's head on into the laundry room and take a look at a basic cloth diaper wash routine. You'll be doing this approximately every two to three days. Again, you can throw in polyester diaper covers and wet bags along with your cloth diapers, but if you have any wool items, you'll be washing those separately. Here are the steps of a cloth diaper wash routine. Step one, every two to three days, load your diapers and accessories into the washer. Step two, sprinkle one scoop of washing powder directly into the laundry. If you have agitators, add those to the machine as well. Set the water temperature to warm and run your machine's shortest cycle. This first wash cycle removes the outer layers of soil from the diapers and leaves the water clean. This way, in your second wash cycle, you won't be attempting to wash your diapers in dirty water. Step three, sprinkle two scoops of washing powder directly onto the laundry. Change water temperature to hot and run on your machine's longest, most heavy duty cycle. The second wash cycle cleans the deeper layers of the diapers, getting them completely clean. You can optionally add two to three ounces of chlorine bleach to this cycle, but if you prefer not to use bleach, that's fine. You can skip that. Chlorine bleach removes stains. However, even if your diapers have some stains on them, they may still be plenty clean enough. Do not use chlorine bleach if you have iron rich water as it can stain your diapers. Step four, transfer laundry from washer to dryer. To reduce dry time, shake open your diapers as you transfer them. Dry on medium heat, or you can line dry them out in the sun. Line drying in the sun is a great natural way to bleach your diapers. If you're going to be hang drying them, be careful about the way you hang them so that you don't stretch out any elastics. Also, if you're drying in the dryer, don't use too high of heats that could ruin elastics. When you take diapers such as fitted diapers or all-in-ones out of the dryer, be careful not to stretch the elastic while it's still warm. That could overstretch it and it won't go back into shape. Let them cool all the way before you pull on the elastics. It's up to you, but if you want your polyester covers to last an extra long time, you may want to line dry them instead of drying them in the dryer. Now let's look at how you would prep a batch of brand new cotton cloth diapers. This applies to any cotton items you may have ordered from somewhere like Green Mountain Diapers. If you have flats, pre-folds, fitted diapers, inserts, doublers, cloth wipes, those can all be washed together. However, any polyester diaper covers will just need one wash before use and wool covers you'll probably separately be hand washing. Add one scoop of washing powder to washer. Wash on regular cycle, hot temperature. Remove from washing machine. Place in dryer and dry on normal, medium heat. When you remove them from the dryer, you may notice that the diapers have started to fluff up or quilt a bit, and this will increase with each wash and dry cycle. Dry. The texture looks totally different now. On the muslin, this is more what I remember my daughter's muslin ones looking like. 
It's best to empty the lint filter halfway through the dry cycle and then again at the end. I forgot to do it halfway so there's quite a bit of lint in here. Now you're going to repeat, repeat, repeat. Organic cotton diapers may need to be washed and dried six times. Bleached items may need three to four times. Make sure to dry in between each wash cycle as that is a very important part of the process. If you think you might be done prepping, you can check the absorbency by pouring some water onto a dry diaper. If the water soaks right in, then they're ready to use. If not, you'll wanna go back to washing and drying. If you don't have a washing machine and you want to know how to hand wash cloth diapers, you can search on YouTube for the Flats and Hand Washing Challenge. It just happened at the end of May and many YouTubers have been sharing their tips for how to hand wash cloth diapers. One option is to use the bucket and plunger method. You'll need a toilet plunger, a five gallon plastic bucket, water, and a bit of laundry detergent. You can also use a plastic laundry basket as your diaper pail. That will provide a lot of airflow and keep your diapers from stinking too much. For sanitizing used cloth diapers, you'll want to do a bleach soak, and then after that, you could wash them a couple times to get the remaining bleach out of the diapers. Chlorine bleach is really the only thing that can completely sanitize cloth diapers. If you're having some trouble with your wash routine and you suspect that you have extremely hard water, you might want to get some water hardness test strips. Pretty much any group you go to for cloth diaper wash routine advice is going to ask you, what is your water hardness? These are super easy to use. Instructions. One, dip a strip into water for two seconds and then remove for best results. Two, carefully shake off any excess fluid. Three, hold strip horizontally for 15 seconds to allow for accurate readings. Four, compare against color chart and take action if needed. Water hardness of seven, which is hard, but not very hard. If it turns out you have extremely hard water, you may need to use a little bit extra laundry detergent to get your diapers completely clean. With assembly washing powder, you can start by adding an extra half a scoop at a time, gradually increasing until you get the right amount of detergent to get those diapers totally clean. That wraps up lesson six on how to wash cotton cloth diapers. Up next in lesson seven, we'll be covering how to wash and lanolize wool diaper covers. Please subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be notified each time a new lesson is released. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends.